hi guys so welcome back to my channel this is Sula, Sula and I had to get ready for our official launch of the Trinidad and Tobago chapter of the G100 Wisdom <laughs> organization here in Trinidad and Tobago so I had to put together this quick hair and makeup in like 30 minutes so if you want to see how I did it then keep watching <laughs> So I'm starting by spritzing my face with this refreshing toner and this is just to add some moisture back to my face then I'm going to use this wipe and I'm going to cleanse it off just to give me some more and I'm adding the daily moisturizing CeraVe, CeraVe cream to my face for some moisture along with this Tarte Rainforest of Sea Radiant Drops so that my face is gonna be a bit more luminous right so I mix those two together and I'm moisturizing it into my face bring it down my neck and then I'm going in with my Sasha mattifier this is my face primer that I've used for today I'm not going anywhere so that was good enough for me for my online video next I'm going in with Sasha powder palette and I'm just using the powder to mattify and take away any extra oil or wetness that you may be seeing on your face so I, I get a little oily so this helps adding some of my lip balm this is one of my formulations from my skincare line then I'm going underneath my eyes with my concealer shade this is like one shade lighter than my skin tone and then i added a little lighter shade just on the top of that in my highlight areas i'm using an elf flat brush to blend out this now you might be asking why am i putting on my concealer and i don't have one foundation just yet this is the underpainting method and this method helps you to complete your makeup so much more faster and this is perfect for the person that wants to do highlight and contour but you're not a makeup artist and you're not that this in doing blending out um, I just went into the darker shade just for my contour shade and I'm blending that from my jawline up toward the temples of my face and I went back over all of that with my elf flat brush again just to bring it together on the first side and I'm now doing the other side so you could also see how chiseled it's starting to look now doing this on the painting method eliminates the possibility that my shades may not be blending as well so again this is perfect if you're not as comfortable doing it on top of your foundation so what I did was just draw a line of concealer right under my contour shade to further enhance my contour and I'm blending this out with my e.l.f. brush and now I'm just trying to use that contour shade to chisel out my nose contour yes so i'm taking this from the sides of my nose up into my brow because i'm also forming the shape of my brow and then i'm shaping out my contour line along my jaw and going back in with my flat brush and buffing all of this out well not really buffing but more or less stippling it into my skin and then i'm going to blend out this nose highlight yes so i'm gonna blend that out and then i'm going to go over all of that with the flat brush once more to make sure everything is really nice and blended yes so after i put all of that together i'm just checking it to make sure that everything is cohesive and now i'm using this black opal finishing powder in the shade light yes it's a bit light however when you're on camera colors tend to show up a bit different and i wanted the highlights to be a bit more pronounced seeing as i did the underpainting method and then i went back with the elf brush previously and i'm using i use that under my eyes to set the powder now i'm using the aqua assurance powder all over my face to blend everything together to make sure that there is no oil and this is really to set in place 
or everything that I've used. So I'm using this Gabriella brow pencil to define my brows and fill in the sparse areas. And I tend to use a light shading motion rather than drawing the line. When you use that, she used that shading motion to me, it tends to give you a much more natural finish and I prefer that naturally enhance makeup look unless i'm going for a more dramatic look but as you can see it's filling in my brows really nicely and i'm just drawing the frame when you learn to do your brows it gets so much more easier so the ends of my brows are a bit sparse so i'm going to show you what i'm doing a bit to make it look a little bit more filled so i'm just matching up the two sides of the brows as best as i could i'm a makeup artist been a makeup artist for well over nine years and at times even i get trouble doing my brows but because you know how to do your brow then it becomes so much more easy and less time consuming when you have things like these where you have like 10 15 minutes to get ready and this makeup look took me about 10 minutes so i'm using this angle brush and i'm brushing on the side of this black kajal pencil and i'm using that to add some definition and color to the end or the tail of my brow so this is gonna bring the brow look together without it being so harsh the fact that it already has a little brown on the end of the brush and then i'm using the black it makes it more cohesive and of course you want to go to the front of the brow and lightly fill in any extra areas that you feel you might want to look more pronounced and brushing it with this spoolie brush just helps to blend the two colors together and make your brow look so much more natural so i love brows i live for brows your brows really do lift and define your look and it finishes your look without a good brow your look is a mess a good brow can make a messy makeup look so good so i'm just using the remain the remainder of color on this flat concealer brush to clean up my under brows i'm not doing anything too much and this color i actually bought it thinking it was a black but when i opened it it was actually like a sort of purple and it's usha's eyeliner gel in the shade sunshine so it's sort of like a purplish shade but when i started putting it on i was like oh i love this color and i need to go back and see what other colors they have because it is the perfect thing to do a really nice light glam smoky look i wanted to do a smoky look but i didn't want to do a black smoky look no actually i was going to do a black smoky look but then when i realized it was like purple i was like oh okay we're, we're gonna make it work so after i put on that metallic color i used a blending brush to blend out the harsh edges and then i went in with a clean blending brush and added a skin tone shade right under the brows and above the edge of that color to blend it together and make it look a little more blown out in a sense where you're not really seeing any harsh lines so this look wasn't meant to be extremely glam just a nice little light glam to look a little more enhanced on camera and now i'm using my favorite lash glue my sassy eyelash glue ladies we do not use here glue on our lashes because we value our lashes then i went into my anastasia palette and used that really dark glittery pigment and i'm placing that right over the top of the purple color that i put down first and this just added the perfect hint of glitter to my look just to make it look a little bit more mm, right and then i added a little black just right on the outer corner of my eye just to further give it some depth and i'm also taking that down onto my lower eye line just to bring the entire look together now guys i have three kids and they were running amok this day my baby loves to be in my hand and the moment i start doing something he wants to lift up love up all sorts of things so yeah it was a struggle this would normally take me like 10 minutes to do but it took me like 20 minutes right 
but all in all it's still coming together so now i'm just applying my lashes my lashes are really long i was supposed to use my eyelash curler to curl my natural lashes first but i was in a hurry and sis did not have time for that today so i just tried my best to reuse that lash and these lashes that i'm reusing are from bougie glam beauty in the style simple i totally love these um forming lashes um because my lashes are long sometimes some lashes tend to irritate my eyes and these are perfect because they don't so, so now i'm using this lip liner just to line the outer area of my lips to prepare for my lip color and i'm using this makeup forever lip stain it's basically a liquid matte color in the center of my lips and after I apply that shade I use a blending brush to blend that color into my lips and then I'm going in with my one of my favorite Sasha lip glosses the lip shine gloss in the shade cozy coral now i'm using my mac blush in the shade pink cult just right over the apples of my cheeks i didn't want to use like an orange or anything um, i just wanted something that would sort of complement the colors that i use on my lips and i didn't want a loud color because i wanted the eyes to really stand out my lashes were giving me a little trouble today because i did not curl my natural lashes which i needed to and my hair was braided i was actually trying to fit my hair was actually braided i had braided my hair for my birthday with some knotless braids and some rose at the beginning and sis had to do some kind of thing so i just put those braids together and said i'm gonna do a updo this was the quickest updo i did ever like literally the middle of my hair was not even combed out guys but you gotta do what you gotta do to get what you gotta do done all right okay so i just got this um product and you see my facial expression because i did not expect for it to hold my hair like that because a lot of products just roll right off my hair and this watch was the edge effect extreme hold control by who was this by i think it's by magic just as magic collection so i use this edge control to hold up my hair and it smells really nice i love edge controls that smell nice and i just use some got to be spray just to give me some extra eff efficacy to and hold to brush my hair together because listen i love my hair i'm now falling in love more with my hair but to hold it up at times listen but i'm making it work right here and after i held my hair up i was like okay let me try to do a top knot bun real quick now if you could see i have two different textures of my hair currently the front of my hair looks a little bit more straight and a little bit stringy whereas the back of my hair is more so of an exact 4c texture and it's really curly coily so i tried my best to do this top knot bun and then i was like hmm let me see how this hair is going to look if i use these braids and add it to it so after i pinned down my hair and smooth it out i said okay let me take this braids wrap it around i was like mm, yes okay we're gonna work this it's gonna work we're gonna make it work i still had some of the gold decals on the braid and i was like okay this is really cute it's coming together sis you're doing your thing and here i am just finishing up the look and i'm like oh yes but bam bam yes sis work i'm brushing my lashes together so they look more cohesive and natural adding some mascara of course to give me that extra ness that i need on the top and the bottom of my lashes and i was like yes yes sulan you're not gonna be late but you're looking good thank you like this video like my look subscribe for more and please share this video bye